Did Terrence Bud Crawford just strike a deal with Golden Boy Promotions? Well, we're going to talk about it in this video, but make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss none of my notifications when I drop these videos. It looks like that Terrence Bud Crawford may have just struck a deal with Mr. Oscar De La Hoya, Mr. Golden Boy Promotions. Now, we all know that Oscar, he always gives Terrence Crawford the highest of highest praise. He's always talking about how he would love to work with Terrence Crawford. In the past, he said that on several different occasions. And also, recently, we saw him say that he would love to work with Terrence Crawford and make a huge fight with Terrence Crawford and Virgil Ortiz in Dallas Cowboys Stadium. He thinks that it'll be a huge fight for Golden Boy Promotions. A couple of months ago, we also saw Oscar De La Hoya get right in the middle of Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence's business. You know, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they're going back and forth at each other on Twitter about Terrence Crawford running off and ducking Errol Spence and fighting David I've been sneezing and what happened during the negotiation with Errol Spence and Al Heyman in the PBC. And who jumps in the middle? Yeah, Oscar De La Hoya, he jumps in the middle saying, yeah, yeah, get him Terrence Crawford. I'm going for Terrence Crawford. Yeah, Terrence Crawford's telling the truth. Terrence Crawford this, this, and that. You know, D-riding Terrence Crawford um, with something that had nothing to do with him. Oscar De La Hoya obviously thinks very highly of Terrence Crawford, has a lot of love for Terrence Crawford, and he been wanting to work with Terrence Crawford. So when Oscar jumped in between the conversation with Errol Spencer and Terrence Crawford, basically with pom-poms and everything, rooting on Terrence Crawford, I said right then, I said, Oscar De La Hoya is putting his bid in to do some big business and some big work with Terrence Crawford. Don't be surprised if you see Terrence Crawford working with Oscar sometime in the near future. So this does not surprise me. You also see Terrence Crawford, every time he speaks about Oscar, he speaks very highly about Oscar De La Hoya. And also a lot of times when you see Golden Boy put on shows on the zone, who do you see? You see Terrence Crawford, and they treat Terrence Crawford like Terrence Crawford is one of their fighters. They give him a microphone, let him do full interviews. You also see Terrence Crawford doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one interviews on the zone with Akin Barak. So, like I said, I've always been one to say that, man, <laughs> it's just a matter of time until Terrence Crawford, you see him on the zone. And if you look at the 147 pound weight division, the roster that Golden Boy has, you really don't see no real tough competition. You got guys like Blair Cobb, you got Alexis Rocha, and the only real threat over there on the Golden Boy roster is Virgil Ortiz, and we already know that Virgil Ortiz is fighting Stanley Yonis in April. So you don't really see no tough, tough competition. You got, you know, probably C and C plus level competition, of course, besides Virgil Ortiz. And what does that sound like? That sounds like the perfect place for Terrence Crawford to be. Because we all know that Terrence Crawford, he don't like fighting eight level competition. Look down his resume and it'll speak for itself. So this is right up Terrence Crawford's alley. Now, recently today, Oscar De La Hoya posted a picture with himself and Bernard Hopkins with Terrence Bud Crawford. And he says, the best pound for pound fighter on the planet, Terrence Bud Crawford stopped by Golden Boy headquarters this morning. My partner B-Hop and I are making big moves. So there you go. You heard it from Oscar. It looks like that Oscar is insinuating that they doing big things with Terrence Bud Crawford. They're trying to get Terrence Bud Crawford over to Golden Boy. That's why I asked the question, has Bud signed with Golden Boy? Is Bud looking to fight Alexis Rocha if Alexis Rocha wins his bout tonight? I'm pretty sure he wins. So when some of y'all watch this video, it's probably already going to be an outcome that Alexa Rocha won. Let's see if we see Terrence Bud Crawford jump in the ring. I don't know, but... Like I said, it don't surprise me. It's been a lot of rumors that Terrence Crawford and Alexa Rocha might be the next upcoming fight. And like I said, this is something that really fits Terrence Crawford very well. You got fans screaming and hollering about what Errol Spence is doing and mad because Errol Spence is fighting Keith Thurman. But they don't never hold Terrence Crawford's feet to the fire. So if Terrence Crawford goes over with Golden Boy, 
You'll never see uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight. Do I like Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford? Yeah, I like that fight. But Virgil Ortiz might not get past Stanionis. That's going to be a very, very tough fight for Virgil Ortiz. Now, I do have Virgil Ortiz, you know, edging that fight out. But it's going to be a very uh, close fight. And it's going to be a tough fight for Virgil Ortiz to beat Stanionis. Stanionis ain't no pushover. So, what does Terrence Crawford do? Does he go right into a fight with Alexis Rocha? Or does he sit out and wait for Virgil Ortiz if Virgil Ortiz wins the fight? Because if Virgil Ortiz do win, he ain't going to be ready to fight until the fall or the winter. So what does he do? But one thing we do know is he ain't going to fight Errol Spence because if he do either one, it's going to mess up the timeline with the fight with him and Errol Spence. And he the one that said that he was going to wait for Errol Spence to spin the block. Because Errol Spence, he going to be fighting sometime in the spring. I thought when he spin the block on you, you talking about you was going to drop him off. Well, you can't drop nobody off if you not at the location when he pull up on you. How you going to drop him off? Does this man got to put out an Amber Alert and search for you again? Like I said, man, this dude Terrence Crawford, <laughs> he ain't it. It's all smoke and mirrors with him. He got to fight somebody on an A level to prove to me that he ain't just all smoke and mirrors. Yeah, he got talent. I've seen a whole lot of fighters have talent. I've seen fighters come in the game that had a lot more talent than him and ended up being not the dude that we thought they were as soon as they stepped in the ring with another A-level fighter. But I already know that all of Bud fanatics, all of his fanatic fans, they not going to hold his feet to the fire if you see him sign with Golden Boy and then fight a Alexis Rocha. They ain't going to say nothing. They going to make excuses, say that Errol Spence ducked him because Errol Spence fought Keith Thurman. They going to just disregard everything that happened when Terrence Crawford went and fought David I've been sneezing. And they're going to continue to make excuses throughout the rest of his career because at the pace that he's going and what he's showing, he probably would never fight another A-level fighter. He'll never do it. So he'll go into the Hall of Fame with all of those accolades. In 15 years from now, nobody will care. 10 years from now, nobody will care. Because he didn't give you no memorable fights for you to go back 10, 15, 20 years from now to watch. He never fought another A-level opponent. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that Oscar De La Hoya is going to sign Terrence Crawford or if not sign him, do you think that they're going to do some type of partnership deal with Bud Crawford Promotions and Oscar De La Hoya, like a joint promotion uh, deal? Looks like they're doing some type of business because he not meeting Oscar De La Hoya at Golden Boy headquarters for nothing. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. Hit the bell icon so you get all of my notifications. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.